So in a video I posted the other day, I was doing some C programming in Vim, and then I'd exit out and compile the program and run it. And someone asked, You're, you have Tmux running, you can split your screen, why don't you split the screen and not exit out of Vim? And that's a very good question, that would be a better way to do it. An even better way is you can actually run shell commands in Vim, and you can compile and run the command without exiting out of Vim. I've been asked before why I don't do that. And the main reason I don't do either of those things is just habit. I, 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 I'm used to just exiting and running it, and I can do it real fast. I mean, yes, those other ways would be more efficient. It's just not how I do it. But even if I did do it that way, I probably wouldn't for multiple reasons. Um, the videos were on C programming, not on Vim and not on Tmux. So not everyone's going to be running Tmux. Not everyone's going to be running uh, Vim. And I don't want to confuse people. Uh, so I would do things the way, I mean, I, yeah, I could say open up two terminals, and that's the same as splitting the screen with, with Vim, you know, or no, splitting the screen with Tmux. Um, but in general, and I mean, this, there, obviously I'm going to do things the way I do them, so this isn't always true, but for the most part, I try to do things in my videos the most basic way. So even if I normally compiled and ran stuff into Vim, unless the tutorial's on using Vim, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to confuse people who may not be running Vim. Uh, they might be using Notepad. Who, who knows? Um, so I try not to use uncommon things in my video that most people don't run. Obviously, I've got to use a text editor. I prefer Vim, so I use Vim. But as I say in most of my videos, you know, use whatever text editor you prefer. Just make sure it's a text editor, not a Word document editor. That would be bad. Um, but yeah, uh, again, the main reason I don't is because that's, that's how I do it. But I've been trying to get better about when I'm in Vim working with multiple files on a project using buffers. I actually set it up with uh, FZF to be able to list files and the buffers and go through them. And I do that on my own, but in videos, uh, you probably won't see me doing that too much, uh, mainly because most people probably don't have it set up like that, and I don't want to confuse people. I try to keep things very basic in my videos. Um, that's also like when I do Blender videos, which has been a while since I do. I'm, trying to, I'm still getting used to 2.8. I didn't play with it up until recently. Um, but for the most part, I try to keep my, my Blender setup close to the default so that I don't forget not everyone has it set up like me. Uh, and you should customize your applications to, you know, make your workflow go good. But when you're teaching people and showing people, you, you should try to keep things at the defaults so you don't confuse people. So my life is kind of split that way because my system's set up how I like it, but I also try to keep things uh, as basic as possible for my video so I don't have to exit out of my, my default settings for the videos because I wouldn't think to do that. Anyway, it was a good question. Thanks for asking. Your way is technically probably better, uh, but then again, like I said, um, actually compiling and writing stuff without exiting out of Vim in Vim is probably even a better option. Uh, we all have our own ways of doing things, and that's just how I'm doing it right now. Thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. I hope that you have a great.